wise man John Chi, moved by the unlimited power of the Holy Ghost, walked through the synagogue church of all nations in the light of God's purity and the fire of his holiness, unleashing the fire of the Holy Ghost upon the kingdom of darkness as the Spirit of God released the lost souls from their satanic imprisonment. Watch as the power and anointing of God began to fight the power of darkness in the life of this woman that day. Knowing that the devil is a defeated foe, wise man John Chi fearlessly rebuked the demonic entity in her life, crushing its inferior power in the name of Jesus Christ. Viewers, we are called to fight the devil, and he is furious because we have not stopped fighting him. Let's watch how the Lord Jesus Christ used wise man John Chi to set her free from demon possession. I warned you earlier, don't touch my crown. Fire in the name of Jesus all over your body. Does it mean you chase all of them away from this kingdom? No one to give me water to pour this fire. You say what? We are my prince. We are my queens. We are my princess. You sent them away. You again. Who are you? I need someone to give me water to pour you. Will you stop that nonsense? Don't come here. Me. Don't in the name of Jesus. Me. You say what? Don't command me. Come here. Stand here. You are dealing with a man, not a woman. Don't what do you mean? Please. Who? You think you are talking to a woman? Who are I you? I existed before he came in flesh and blood. You say what? No. I say I was existing before he came. Before who came? Your master's master. Who are you in this body? Don't command me have a respect for a master. Don't you respect your own master? You see another master outside, you can't even bow and greet. What do you mean? Who are have you? Have you ever seen anybody talking to me standing? Hey. Now, can you Imagine introduce yourself? Nobody. Who are you? I am Lucifer. Come here in the name of Jesus. I am not coming. Jesus is greater than you. I am not coming. You are powerless in the face of Jesus. Now I command you in the name of Jesus, come here. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, come here. I came for revenge. You scattered my kingdom yesterday. You small, small boys. Come and stand you here and talk in the kingdom. name of Jesus. I am not coming. You don't command me. You bow to me. No one commands me. Who are you? I have the power of the name Jesus at my command. Now I command you in the name of Jesus. Come and stand here and talk in the name of Jesus. Come here. You bow to Jesus. No one is greater than Jesus. You are powerless. Now come here in the name of Jesus. You are powerless in the face of Jesus. Come here. Now stand and talk in the name of Jesus. Who are you? I say I'm Lucifer. I won't bow to you. I am a master. You bow to a Jesus. Master. That is what I am. So Lucifer. I am a master. A master. You, you, you say know what a master means? When you see your master, what do you do? Yes. You said you are here for revenge. Yes. Why do you want to revenge? Oh, yes. You guys came to my kingdom yesterday? You turned the kingdom upside down. You chased my queen away. My princesses, nowhere to be found. And my prince is in exile. I am here in person. I will revenge. How do you want to revenge? Okay. I will talk. The name you called is above all other names. Now, how do you operate? I don't operate. They operate for me. Okay, they operate Can't for you. Can't you understand? I am a master. What kind of activities do you send them to carry out for you? My problem now is people like you. And I have come to warn you. That what? Wherever you see any of my men, you put them in shame. Times you even kill them. You send them to the abyss, to the pit of hell. My time has not yet come for me to be judged. What are the evil you have done? I make people sad. 
I seize people joy. I don't give them happiness. Why do you want to see Cyril? It gives me joy. Joy and happiness. Why? Yes. I was up there. He sent me down. Why were you sent down? Just because of pride. Just pride. Because of what? Pride. Okay, you are proud. Pride. When I was leaving, I told him, I will come with two people. A man and a woman. They can be in numbers. But just those two sex he created from the beginning. What do you send to them? Whatever that will make them come with me before the throne of judgment is what I send to them to be doing. They enjoy doing it. What are you sending to them to be doing? You don't Explain in the name of Jesus. I've warned you. Keep him aside. Who? He has his own assignment. Your master's master. He lives. Don't you know? Why are you calling him here? He is the commander mm -hmm. here. And he is the one whom you bow to. I don't give up. You said you send them out. You send them out to do what? To bring just a male and a female. But there can be in numbers. How do you operate in the lives of these two people? Since yesterday, I've been in my kingdom, and your master keep on saying, when he was baptized, I was baptized. When he died, I died. Yoke of sin be broken. How does that affect you? When the yoke of sin is broken, what is my achievement? Okay, you mean you, you operate through sin? Ah, yes. I am a master, master, a ruler. The ruler of what? You don't know my kingdom? You don't know my kingdom? When, 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 where you always come with such light? You say what? Speak louder! I say you always come to my kingdom with bright light. You would have gone off. And what will happen? If not for the angel behind you, you, I, you would have gone. And me, I don't even know what he's doing there. My time has not come. Why is he coming to defend you? You disturbed my kingdom all through yesterday. I slept alone. You say you are here for revenge. My men were nowhere to be found. You set panic upon them. Why? Who are your men? What is your name? Who are your men? Demons. Okay, demons. Yeah. They are your men. They are my men. You said you came here for revenge. Yes. How do you want to go about the revenge? Why the defense? You would, you would have seen it physically, practically. You don't need to hear it. You have a defense. Jesus is my defender. An angel is behind you too. They are everywhere. But I choose to come. I can't even find your master. I can't talk to a boy like you. Okay, do you think you'll succeed in your mission I here? I would have succeeded if not for him behind you with a sword. My sword was seized because of Pride. Okay, your sword was seized. Because of pride. Because of pride. Just pride. What have you done to this woman? Oh, yes. Stagnation. Anger. She sees nothing good. Especially in his partner. What have you done to her marriage? Oh, yes. She can be happy in the home, but no joy. You know? I mean, inner joy, no joy. She's always sad. Say, God, why am I here? Why am I here? I'm not supposed to be here. I'm a master. Why should a small boy cage me? You, Lucifer, whatever name you call yourself, do you have access in the life of those who are truly born again? Mm. Do you know what? I will tell you. 
I don't. Why? They have defense. What is in them that you cannot attack? Righteousness. Now, those who do not have the light, the righteousness, what happens to them? They are ready for me. I don't even disturb them. But the lukewarm is the people I go for. What do you mean by the lukewarm? Okay. You are a Christian today. Tomorrow you fall off. You understand? And that's your time of falling. Okay. I'll deal with you. How do you manipulate them? I don't even go out. My men do. They come with reports, situation reports. Do you know what I mean? What is going on around? I know they are doing well. Okay. Before the birth of your master, I was making exploits. You were making what? Exploits. My kingdom was filled to the brim. But now, what is happening to your kingdom? I told you earlier. You came around with your men, you turned the kingdom upside down. I am supposed to be arranging my kingdom, but bitterness in heart brings me here for revenge. Now you are here. Oh, yes. What do you want to say about this place, the Synagogue Church of All Nations? Since he came, I have my mode of operation. When I send my men out, they don't go after him. Why? But, but of late, I'm having problem with him. I have been silenced, but now decided to talk, to speak. Enough! Enough! What is your name? John! Enough! Go and tell your master! Enough! Enough! Enough of what? Enough of torment! Enough of scattering! Okay, you mean he's tormenting you? Oh, yes! How? Ho, oh, oh. ho! I will still tell you when he just bring some words from the scripture, tell his people, I mean his followers, do this, it will be well with you. If you don't do it, disaster ahead. And who even asked him to say, this period we are now, is he supposed to announce my activities? <laughs> the period we are now, he has been saying it all, especially between between what? 48 hours. Even to you, wise men, he called you perilous time. Be careful as you go out. We are in a hard time now. The battle is getting tougher. You mean he doesn't tell you that? Who, who asked him to announce my activities? Okay, you don't want him to announce your what activities? What is his business? Has his own master done it? Who asked him to announce Perilous, evil, crisis, this one, that, what is this business, business? What, okay, is, what is bad in that, in announcing why should he announce my that activities? this is perilous times? Why should he announce my activities? You forget easily, do you, that I told you, I existed before your master's master came in flesh and blood. So who is it now? A boy of yesterday that I stopped, that I know. Will you stop that nonsense, yes, you demon? I won't stop. I don't give up easily. You don't know? You think you're talking to demons? I am the master. The master is standing before you. You are the master. Oh, yes. There is a master greater than all masters. Jesus is greater. Eh, 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 eh. Why don't you want to hear the name? The, you remove that name. Remove that name. No what is in the name that you don't like? Yes, I don't want to hear that name. What is in the name? I don't want to hear that name. What does the name do to you? The name. And your kingdom? Hmm. That name is sharper than two edges sword. <laughs> when my man hears that name, they run into hiding. What about you, when you hear the name? I'm not shaking because my time has not come. Do you stand? No, my time has not come. But his own father, the creator of the universe, gave him, gave him power above all. Boys, can you let me go? 
I deal with men. Let me go. Yo soy Lucifer. Boy, no let me el de Jesús porque go. Tiene poder sobre todo poder. If I go, I'll go back. Are you sure you will succeed? I will reinforce. What have you done to her family? Her family? Yes. His, her father started it all. When she was born, her star was everywhere. So bright. Her star is so bright, glittering. We're afraid. Who is she? That her star will be so bright. But the moment her father pronounced something, oh, that woman gave birth to a baby girl. What do I have to do with a baby girl? Immediately he made that statement. We entered. And that is how I came in. I said, this was a warm man. A warm man. To have this bright star is not possible. You know what? You know what? He knows me, I know him. He reinforced you. More power. Just now. He gave you, he just gave you more power. Let me talk to him, he's the enemy there. Let me warm him. Let me talk to him. I will go. Not that I won't go. Because he had just given you. I know. He just call you aside and say, my son. He won't defeat you. Don't be afraid. Is that what he told you? Confess to your people. Talk to them. Is that not what he told you? He just tell you aside. Don't be afraid. I can see that you, 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 you are giving up. He, you won't defeat her. Yeah? You won't. You Lucifer, listen oh, to me. You say when you go, you will reinforce and come back. How? Okay. You know what? I'm going to remove the spirit of fear from my men. It's fear. How? It's fear. We were there yesterday. Where? Up here, seven of us. See, Master, don't let them come here. Master, don't let them come here. Master, don't let them come here. I told them not to be afraid, but they were clothed with fear. I will go and handle the area of fear in my men. So how do you want to reinforce? Okay. When I come back, he was moved to come and talk to me in person, but he said no. My boy will do it. My boy will do it. I can't fight his activities. I sit on my throne. I know where I send my men to. Why should he be sending his boys? I mean boys. If he, want, if he even wants to come to my kingdom, he stay at the gate and just do his hands like this and scatter everything. And scatter everything. That is there. You won't understand. Can't you see? If he come out like this, can I talk to you? He will tell them the affliction, the problem, they will be delivered. That is at the gates. It is you boys that enter inside my kingdom. I am tired of you. So you, Lucifer, whatever name you call yourself. I'm a master. Yes. Right now, you will be perpetually caged. <laughs> my time has not yet come. All over your body, fire in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Don't touch my crown. That is we weird. Stop that. I said, don't touch my crown. Don't touch my crown. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My crown. All over your body, fire in the name of Jesus. Don't touch my crown. My crown. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Don't touch my crown. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Liberación en el poder del Espíritu Santo. El Espíritu de Lucifer dijo: No toques mi, mi corona. Ahora estamos viendo. En el mighty name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire 
the name of Jesus, all over your body. Your time has expired. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You say what? Let me go. You have no option. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. Fine name of Jesus. Wherever the powers are located in your body. Fine name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You say what? My rings. My rings. Don't touch my rings. Come here. No, 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 no. He just gave you another secret. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He just gave you another secret. That is where it is. You say what? My right hand. He just told you. You see that boy? I will get him. You are going. I am going. I know I'm going. I'm going. Let me go. Now go. Let me go. Let me go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Stand up. What is happening? What is going on here now? Wise man. You don't know what is happening? Wise man. How are you? Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Good evening, sir. You don't know what is happening? You're from the floor? No. I was standing there. What happened? You said you are Lucifer. <laughs> Me. That's what you said? No, I'm a Christian. You said what? I'm a Christian. I believe in Jesus Christ. How can I be Lucifer? Ah, oh, no. Glory be to God. The demon that spoke through you has been cast out by Jesus. You are free. Live the rest of your life for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Emmanuel. My name is Regina Oshimana. The man standing beside me is my husband. Last Sunday, I came to church. I, I arrived here on Friday. On Saturday, when we came in, I sat on the gallery up there behind me. When the wise men came out and they were laying hands on people, they didn't come to our area. But my right hand was very heavy. I, don't, I, did, I can't really explain what happened. That day, they didn't come to that place at all. We went home. I called my brother-in-law that they didn't come to my area and I was so excited. He said, no, it's not possible that someone will be in the church auditorium and they won't lay hand on her. I said, that is what happened. On Sunday when we were about coming here, I was heavy in my mind. I told him I will not be going to the church. He said, why? I said, I don't want to be prayed for. He said, what is my reason? I said, I don't want to go before, before the camera and start manifesting. He said, is any spirit worrying me? I said, no. So that very faithful Sunday, I sat over there. And while the wise men came out and they were laying hands on people, I turned to the guy sitting by my left-hand side. I said, the wise men are supposed to be five, but I'm seeing just four. He said, which of them am I not seeing? I described the man. He called the name. He said, no, they are complete, that the man is there. I said, I can't see him. After some time, he said, I should look at the screen. He's the one passing. I look at the screen, I didn't see him. I said, I can't see him. Before I could know what was happening, he came very close to me. And who was the wise man that we are not seeing on the screen? Wise man, John Shi. So, not quite long, he came very close to the role where I was sitting. Then they asked those ones to stand up. I turned to the young man sitting behind me. I said, I want to go. 
say, why do you want to go? I said, no, I don't want to be prayed for. I said, what is the problem? I said, I don't want to be screaming and doing all manner of gymnastics in the church and I'll be covered. He said, is there anything disturbing me? I said, no. He said, I should stay. That there are some violent spirits. If they don't manifest, they won't go out. So the young man encouraged me. Before I could turn to pick my bag, it's like my right hand side was blocked. My left hand side was blocked. I didn't really know what blocked the environment. So I told him, everywhere is blocked. Before I could turn my face to the front, the man left his hand from the next person to me, and I was feeling as if a palm tree was falling on me. So I used my right hand to wage it. And can you tell us the wise man that laid hands on you on that day? Wise man John Shi. And it was the same wise man you did not see earlier on. Yes. But the person beside you told you that you could see the same wise man on the screen. Yes. But you could not see him until the time he laid his hands on your head. Yes. And you said everywhere seemed blocked. Yes. When you looked to your left, to your right, what was the thing that was blocking it, you from escaping? It was like a fence surrounding me. Okay, so you could not go out of the church. I couldn't go I, out I of the church. Oh. So, so what, what happened, happened when the wise man laid hands on you? It's like a palm tree was falling on my head. So I used my right hand to, to wedge it. That, that was all I could remember. After some times, I was standing discussing with my brother-in-law. They asked me to step forward that it is time for my total deliverance. That was all I could remember before he asked me to stand up. I stood up, he said, Madam, do you know what, what had just happened to you? I said, no. He said, you said you are a Lucifer. I said, no, I believe in Jesus Christ, I'm a Christian. Also, we give glory to God for your deliverance. Can you not tell us, since when did you start noticing that evil power or strange uh, being inside you? At what age? From childhood, between the age of 10 and 12. So what are the things you noticed in you at that little age? At that age, my mom took me somewhere and said, when I came out of her womb, a nurse that delivered me said that uh, I'm a bunu in my darling, this God to be worshipped. So she took me to a shrine and in that place, they brought out a calabash. They took all parts of my body, like my fingernails, my hair, a blood from my navel with a uh, cotton wool, then flesh from my body. In that calabash was all manner of gray, like millet, guinea corn, rice, maize, and what have you. So and after some time, she was not faithful to that God. She was not sacrificing to that God. So I started manifesting. I could remember one day we were going to farm with my family members. Whatever I pronounce at that stage comes to pass. So I just want to ask you a question. What, have, what did they see um, during your birth that your mother had to take you to a witch doctor for a, a sacrifice? That when I was coming out of her womb, I came out with the oblique cord round my neck. And it symbolized something. And the nurse advised your mom that she should take you to a witch doctor? Uh, yes. And when you got there... It, she shouldn't take it granted. If when, not, something will happen to me. And when it, she took you to the witch doctor, he took parts of your body, put it in the calabash, and said your mommy must come back... Um, and be regularly be serving... To perform some sacrifice. Yes. Okay. So she was not faithful to that thing until one time like that. There is nothing I say that won't come to pass. But there is one, one noticeable one that my maternal uncles and aunties advised my mother to bring me to my maternal home, that that calabash, that one is no more working. They renew it again. Like this noticeable one, we're going to the farm with my elder sister and my maternal cousin. They gave us food from the house. Before we even get to the farm, I finish eating my own. I asked her to give me a portion of her own. She refused. Then I said, scorpion will bite you. And immediately I pronounced that thing. My cousin cut off a stick and started flogging me. Why should I say that to my sister? Immediately I pronounced it on him too, that scorpion will bite him. And when we got to farm, we didn't even do anything before the scorpion bites both of them. So we returned home. So can you tell us, after your deliverance last week Sunday, what are the changes that you have seen in you? I sleep very well now. Before my deliverance, I can't think so many things at the same time. No concentration, no focus. But since my deliverance, I can concentrate, I can focus on something. I sleep very well. I feel light. I feel free. 
And what about the power in your mouth that whatever you pronounce will happen? Do you still notice then such strength power? Then as the deliverance power? was going on here, the scorpion that was, that was using then appeared in my mother's parlor in the village and it was killed. Hallelujah. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Yes, we give glory to God Almighty uh, for this wonderful deliverance that has taken place in the life of the sister who testified and she saw a proof of the wonderful deliverance that God Almighty granted her. He said that that evil power that she was possessed of, that scorpion that she used to use to attack people while she was on, um, being delivered right here, the same scorpion appeared in her mother's home and the mother was able to kill the scorpion. We give glory to God for that wonderful deliverance. And let's just hear one word from your husband. So can you just tell us in a single word, what are the changes you have seen in your wife after her deliverance? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. And my name is Ochimana Friday. I'm a soldier. I'm serving in Enugu. I want to thank God for the deliverance of my wife, which took place last week Sunday here. Uh, when she left Enugu to this place, my children and I were in the parlor. Last Sunday we were washing. How she's been delivered. We really appreciate God. We thank God for what God has done in our life because I know after this deliverance, uh, there's no more limitation. There's no more pain in the Hallelujah. family. There's no sorrow. So we've come to give God the glory. Just to give glory to God Almighty for this wonderful deliverance. And we just want to advise our sister and the family as a whole that God Almighty has delivered and set you free, taking you out of the kingdom of darkness and placed you into the kingdom of light. And as you know that the kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is not something hoped for, it is a fact. And when the Son of God says you are free, you are free indeed. But you have a role to play. Your own role is to understand the reason for your deliverance, which is for the salvation of your soul. So make sure you follow Christ Jesus along the way, making his word a standard for your life. And the deliverance you have received remain permanent. I pray that God Almighty will grant you that grace. So continue to remain steadfast in his word. And we know that if you do that, that will lead you on the good road to the good life. Thank you.